In this video, I'll show you how to upload an MP4 into your YouTube channel, whether you decide to make it a public video or a private video, the steps are pretty much the same. So what you want to do is start off and log into the Gmail account that you have tied into your YouTube channel. I always look at this part right here, this pick my picture, the icon right here to the top right. That's always what I consider home base when I'm dealing with YouTube because there's just a lot of pictures and colors and a lot happening. So if you go here, you click on your picture, maybe it's your logo, maybe it's your face, whatever it is, um, click on your channel and you can see that it is the correct channel that you're trying to upload your video to. I just, I like to check because depending on how many emails you have, you could have something logged in and you're not actually uploading your video to the right place. So now you know. Once you do that, click on YouTube Studio and make sure that you have an MP4 that you're going to upload into your channel. So I have one right here on my desktop. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this upload videos icon. It's like a red line with an arrow pointing up. So I click on that and I'm just going to drag my video, my MP4 for my desktop into that slot. So there you go. And there you go. It's thinking. And you'll see right here that there are some things that are pre-populated in my video description. Um, you can do that with your channel as well. And I highly recommend it as it saves time. And you can see right here, there's a title. There are some resources here that are already pre-populated. And so I set that up before. And you can use this, whether you're sharing a public video or a private video or an unlisted video. But just be aware that that's available to you if you're wanting to save a little bit of time when you're uploading your videos. So what you need to know is if you are creating an unlisted video, uh, you may not need to use a thumbnail, but if you're creating a public facing one, you definitely want to have these pieces in place. You want a good SEO friendly title. You definitely want a description. You want a thumbnail. You want to add the playlists that this video will live under. And then right here under more options, you definitely want to add tags that are related to the topic of the video that you're creating. So right here, you can add tags right here. But if you are creating an unlisted video, so an unlisted video is one where the link is open to anybody, but it's not searchable. So if somebody has that link, anybody who has that link can view that video. So I probably wouldn't put like secret proprietary stuff on unlisted YouTube because anybody who has link can see that. In any case, uh, this SEO stuff is not as effective on an unlisted video as that's not gonna be pulled into any of the data. Okay, so we're uploading this video. You can see that it's processing here on the right. I click on next and you may wanna add a card. So it takes a few minutes to process, but you could add a card um, right here. Actually, we can do that right now. You can add a card. Uh, and what that will do is it will, so I'm going to go to the end of the video and add a playlist for one of the other playlists I have on my channel. So I can add this kickstart. And so what this would do is here at four minutes and around 33 seconds or so, it will, YouTube will pop up that playlist and say, hey, watch this for more information. So you can do that on unlisted or public facing YouTube videos. So I'm gonna click save on that and hit next. And so here are your options. So a private video, if you decide to publish it and make it private, then everyone needs a password in order to see that video. Unlisted, as I mentioned, is open. So anybody who has the link can watch it, but it's not searchable. And then public is public. So choose one of these options, click save, and your video is ready to be seen by the people who you want to see it. <laughs> I hope this helped.